What's going on guys? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we have another model plan unboxing video for you guys. Now if you guys are wondering why am I doing this in a voiceover for this video, that's because I filmed this unboxing way back in December 2021. And this was during my early days of model plan unboxings where I never talk. Instead, I use a text to speech in order to make these unboxings. But since I can't really do unboxing videos with my voice, I decided to make this video using my own voice. I was going to do text to speech for this one, however it would be outdated and it would take up a lot of time and it's not perfect for this method. So as you're seeing on screen, we have 3 boxes that I'll be unboxing in today's video. We also have a lot of models in them as well. We're really excited to dive down in these boxes and see what models are inside. So with my super glue ready in case a model comes broken, along with my X-Acto knife and my scissors that I'll be using to open the boxes, let's begin with the first model in this unboxing. Let's start off with this box from eBay. Now from what I can remember, I purchased this model way back on November 29th of last year. It did take a while for this box to be shipped. I think the box didn't arrive at my house until early December, but inside is a model that I think would be nice for my collection. So without further delay, let's start unboxing this box. I'll fast forward this video so you guys won't get bored of me unboxing this model without talking. There is a lot of newspaper inside the box and somehow the model was placed inside of some Amazon package. But it's all good, there's tape under it, so this should be an easy opening. And here she is you guys, the Gemini Jets Delta 767 300ER second release. Let's dive into the box and see what it looks like. Alrighty, so here's the Gemini Jets 1400 scale Delta Airlines Boeing 767 300ER second release. Really nice to have this model in my collection, and it's also nice to have another Delta wide body in my collection. The 767 is a great asset to Delta's fleet. Let's start off with the front of the box. Like most Gemini Jets boxes, they always have that generic looking box style with no art design for each airline. You got the logo on the top left corner along with their slogan. Made for collectors by collectors. You got the CGI printed image of the aircraft in the middle. The Delta Sky Team logo are present on this box. And the Boeing 767 300ER titles are located at the bottom. There is also the Delta widget on the far left of the box. The sides are pretty much the same. There is nothing much to go over since each side has the same design. And here is the back side. This is in the older style way before the current one came in. You got the aircraft taken off right there. You got the as well as against features listed in the middle, Boeing licensed product sticker, and their Facebook link since they don't have an Instagram nor Twitter around that time. This is a 2015 release as you can see by the Gemini Jets copyright label on the bottom right. This model is old. It is about 6 years old as of 2022. And it's still kind of new to my collection since it hasn't been a year since I had this model. And now let's open up the pamphlet to reveal the model inside. But before we get into that, Here's the description of the aircraft. You can pause it and read this whatever you like. And there is the model itself. What a pretty looking model that is. It also looks like it came intact. But man, once again, pretty model. So let's begin taking the model out of the box, shall we? It really did take a while for me to open the flap, but I gotten better on how I open up these boxes. And there she is out of the box. Now let's take out the cradle and the plastic paper that goes along with it. And take a look at that model ladies and gentlemen. This is in the cradle mold. It did bother me when I first got this model, but I have gotten used to it over time. Now let's begin reviewing the model. Let's start off with the nose shape of the aircraft, which does seem accurate. I mean, not too much accurate, but 
somewhat accurate for a Gemini Jetsu model right here. You got the cockpit windows along with a nose gear, which does look realistic. You got the Sky Team logo on the left side of the L1 boarding door, along with the Delta logo, which appears brighter from my eye. I think that's because my studio lighting was hitting it, and it appeared a bit brighter compared to like natural lighting. Transitioning to the middle side of the aircraft, you got the CF6 engines looking pretty aligned, then you got the two emergency exit doors and the main landing gear. The wing also does appear to look nice with the blue winglet. I think Gemini Jets did a very nice job with the wing, even though the wing is one piece. And here's the back of the model. You got the L2 door, the US flag, along with the Delta upward and onward tail, and the Delta widget. And of course, you got the APU and the horizontal stabilizers. Interestingly enough, this aircraft is registered November 195 Delta November. I actually saw this registration back in August 2021 in Honolulu while waiting at my gate for my flight back home. What a coincidence that was to have the model of the aircraft I saw in real life. It's really amazing to think about it. Here is the starboard side of the aircraft. Once again, everything looks the same, except you got the cargo doors on the front and back, which are nicely detailed. Here is the top of the aircraft. Now antennas aren't present on this model, which is okay for a model that old, but I think antennas haven't appeared on 767s until 2018. I may be wrong, but that's all I can think of. Now moving on to the front of the aircraft. I think Gemini around that time did a great job on getting the cockpit windows aligned, along with the wing since wing flex isn't present on this model. And here's the bottom of the aircraft. Unfortunately, I did not get a picture of the backside on all the models in this video, so I do apologize for the inconvenience, but you got the Delta logo on the belly, the stand hole, and the Gemini Jets logo. I think they did a nice job on the bottom of the aircraft. It does look very detailed. One thing I like about this model is that the landing gear does roll, which is what a 1400 model should do. So overall, I think Gemini Jets did a very excellent job on this Delta 767 back in 2015. Even though there are no antennas and no two-piece wing mold for the 767 as of yet, this is still a great model to have, and I am just so glad to have a Delta 767 in my collection. Now let's move on to our next box. Here's the next box for this unboxing. This box comes from Panafox Toys, and I got these models from one of their Black Friday slash Cyber Monday deals last year. I got both of these models at a very good price, and it didn't take that long for them to be shipped, arriving at my house in the first week of December. I'm really excited to take out these models out of the box, and without being said, let's open up the box. So now that we got the box open up, let's see what models are inside this box. And here is my first model from Panda Fox Toys, and that is the Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 717 by Gemini Jets. This is a model that I think should be perfect for my collection since I already flew this one back in August 2021. And the second model from the box is right here. Also from Panda Fox Toys, we have an Air France Boeing 777-200ER and 1400 scale by Phoenix models. So nice to have another international airline into my collection, although I have many of these in my collection ever since. So now that everything is out of the box, let's throw this box away and get a closer look at these two models. And here are my two models from Panda Fox Toys. I'll start off with the Hawaiian 717 first before we proceed with the Air France 777 afterwards. So let's begin with the Hawaiian. Alright, and here's the Gemini Jets Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 717 in 1400 scale. This is a model that is well needed for my collection, and it is perfect since I pretty much have completed every single aircraft in Hawaiian's fleet. I really love the box design for many of these Hawaiian models Gemini Jets made. They are very nice and colorful, and the box is designed differently compared to most other generic Gemini Jets boxes. One of the differences is the Hawaiian Airlines logo is seen here on the top left, along with the Hawaiian Airlines stock hub website link on the top right. Then you got the computer-generated image of the aircraft and the magenta and purple flowers on the bottom right. 
I wish Gemini Jets could do these box styles on other airlines more often. It would look very nice instead of using the typical Gemini Jets boxes, the generic ones if you know what I mean. The side of the box looks also very nice. Once again, GJ did a very nice work on these amazing boxes. The back side also looks very different. The main difference is that there is no sky in the background. Instead, it just has like this some sort of navy blue color background I'm guessing and the aircraft is not in the takeoff position. You got all the as real as it gets features which are debatable along with their Facebook page and the Hawaiian Airlines logo at the bottom. For what I'm assuming, this was way before Gemini Jets used Instagram and Twitter more often, so that's why Facebook is the only social media page they had in their boxes back then. Moving further down, you got the Boeing license product and the Hawaiian Airlines license product labels and the 2019 Gemini Jets copyright label at the bottom right. Let's open up the pamphlet and see what the model is like inside. But first, here is the description of the Boeing 717. Really well detailed and great information about this particular aircraft. As per usual, you can pause and read whatever you want. And here is the model itself, looking very nice inside that box. And now let's take her out and give you guys a closer look at this amazing model. And now let's open up the cradle and take out that plane. And here is the model in all of her glory. A small and cute model, but perfect for the overall collection. Now let's get reviewing. As per usual, let's begin with the port side. Beginning with the nose shape of the aircraft, which looks fairly decent in shape, the outline of the ray dome is present, then you got the cockpit windows which also are placed in properly well. Then you got all the additional details in the front like the pitot tubes and the static ports, then you got the name of the aircraft which I'm not going to be saying because it is hard to pronounce, so I won't do that. Then you got the Boeing 717 titles as well. You then got the L1 boarding door, along with the Hawaiian Airlines logo and the Hawaii State flag located on the right side. The nose gear of the aircraft looks decent as well. Perfectly level in height, not too high, not too low, which is good. And then the nose gear door shows parts of the aircraft's registration. Here's the middle side of the aircraft with your emergency exit doors and the gray Hawaiian lay. The gray does appear glossy which gives off a darker gray color. Maybe in natural sunlight, I think it should appear better. Then you got the wing of the aircraft. This is also known as the cantilever because there is nothing that is being mounted onto the main wing of the aircraft. The main gear also looks very sharp on this model. Moving on to the back side, you got the registration of the aircraft, which is November 4900 Hotel Alpha along with the Rolls Royce BR715 engines mounted at the back of the fuselage along with the Hawaiian lady on the tail and the horizontal stabilizers representing a T-tail. Moving on to the starboard side of the aircraft, you can now see the Hawaiian titles more clearly at the front. Along with that, your cargo door should be located close to the front. Here's the front of the aircraft. It looks very nice from this angle. The horizontal stabilizers and engines are perfectly lined and no wing flex, which is a very nice thing for this model. Here's the top of the aircraft. No antennas are present on this model, but you got the printing of the Wi-Fi dome and the red top beacon light. Now moving on to the bottom of the aircraft, you got all this amazing detail along with the stand hole and the tiny Gemini Jets logo. The wing is a one piece mold, which doesn't bother me since this is pretty much an old Gemini Jets mold they had in their factories and pretty much they haven't updated their 717 mold as of yet. Unfortunately, the landing gear does not roll, which is understandable for a model like the 717, but really unfortunate for a model that's made in 2019. But overall, I really love having this model into my collection and it is a good model for them back in that year. Once again, another great model from Gemini and I'm so fortunate to have it. Now let's move on to our next model from Panda Fox. Next model from Panda Fox is this Air France Boeing 777-200ER by Phoenix Models. Really nice to have this model into my collection and it is another great one to add to my international lineup. Let's begin with the box design. 
which really looks nice. Pretty much better than what Gemini Jets has, but lines up close to engine models. You got the sky background along with the Boeing 777-200ER tiles on the top, and the CGI printed image of the aircraft in the middle. You got the one part of the text and the Air France logo along with the aircraft registration at the bottom. This aircraft is registered Foxtra Gulf Sierra Papa Papa. Really interesting registration Phoenix decided to choose for this aircraft. Surprisingly enough, as of that recording, I haven't seen this aircraft yet, but on May 14 this year, I finally managed to see this exact aircraft in real life while I was spotting at San Francisco International Airport. It was a really nice photo I took of the aircraft while it was getting its catering done. And overall, I really like how this shot turned out. I do want to point this out, but as you look closer at the box, the image of the sky appears pixelated, which I don't think it should be like that. I was expecting a more high quality image than that. I'm guessing Phoenix took a low quality image out of the internet and slapped that into this box. I think that needs to be improved on some of their boxes in the near future. The sides look fairly decent too, although each one shows the exact same thing. Still, I think they did well on it. And here's the back of the box. I do love these pictures of the Eiffel Tower. I think they did turn out nice. And I really love how Phoenix models managed to add that to this box. I decided to include my KLM 787-10 box from them just for a comparison. And it turns out the 777 box is a few centimeters taller than the 787 box. Probably because the 777 is a bigger aircraft than the 787. So that's really interesting to see from these boxes. Now let's open up that box and see that model as she comes out. It took a while for me to open the flap, but let's see how fast I can open it. And take a look at that model. She looks pretty outside of that box and I'm so excited to get my hands on this aircraft. Let me check the wings and the horizontal stabilizer so I can make sure that nothing is broken. And she has come fully intact in one piece. Now let's begin reviewing this 777. Beginning here with the nose shape of the aircraft. Now the nose shape of the Phoenix 777 mold is fairly decent, but not as great compared to NG's or Aviation 400's mold. Then you got the cockpit windows and their logo to the right. You then got the nose gear and nose gear door which displays part of the registration. Then you got the L1 and L2 boarding doors and the aircraft's name, which is named after the French city of Montpellier. Moving on to the middle section of the aircraft, you got the Air France titles, along with the first Wi-Fi dome and the front top antenna. Then you got the wing itself, looking pretty nice. And here's the GE90 engine. I think Phoenix did a decent job on doing the GE90. They're proportional in size and there is enough ground clearance. The only thing that seems off is the silver rim that you see here. I think it's a bit too thick to what it is in real life, but I can't complain. It is what it is. And here is the back of the plane. You got the L3 and L4 doors, your second Wi-Fi dome, and the back two antennas. And then you got the bottom antenna that is painted red, so how about that from Phoenix right there? Then you got the Boeing 777-200ER tiles right there, the Sky Team logo, the Air France KLM group titles, and the aircraft registration which is Fox Truck Gulf Sierra Papa Papa like I said. And to top it all off, you got the amazing Air France tail, along with the horizontal stabilizers and the APU. Here's the starboard side of the aircraft. Nothing different, but all the cargo doors are present. Next, here's the front view. Looking very nice along with the wings, which are perfectly ground configurated. There are times, however, when the nose gear is raised a few centimeters off the ground. I think this is due to a weight issue and I had to push the aircraft down a couple of times in order to have the nose gear sit perfectly on the ground. Here's the top view of the aircraft, looking pretty nice with all the antennas and Wi-Fi boxes. Here's the bottom view, also looking pretty nice as well with all the detail. You also got your stand hole as well. And as you can see by this demonstration, yes, the landing gear rolls on this model, which is typical for Phoenix to do. So overall, I'm liking this model a lot. While not as a stellar model, I still think Air France is a great airline to add to my international lineup. Now let's move on to the final model in this unboxing. And our final model for this unboxing comes from the Midwest Model Store. 
Now for those who are new to collecting, the Midwest Mall Store is a great retailer if you want to get started on your collecting. They have great customer service and always inspect your models for any QC problems before it gets shipped. So I would highly recommend Midwest for all you beginners for model collecting. But regardless, I'm excited to see what model I ended up getting from them. So without any delay, let's open up the box and see what model it is inside. Now that's an easy cut right there. Now let's open it up with scissors. Now that all the flaps are open, let's take out some packing paper. But first, I do have my invoice for Midwest. However, I'm not sure you guys my address in order to protect myself. But thanks for the invoice. And there she is! This is the Edgy Bottles Etihad Airways Bug 787-10 in the Green Lighter livery. This was a random model I decided to pick, but the livery on this aircraft looks amazing, so I'm glad to have this into my collection. And there she is outside of the package, now I shall review it. And here is the box of the model. I really love the artwork right here. I think NG did a great job on how they designed this box. Moving along, you got the Boeing 787-10 Dreamliners on the top, the CGI image of the plane in the middle, the Dreamliner titles, and the Etihad and NG logos. You also got the Boeing licensed product and the aircraft registration, which is Alpha 6 Bravo Mike Hotel. The sides also look pretty nice, although each one of them are the same thing. And here is the back side of the box. It is the same thing as for the front, but you got the warning hazards and their social media pages. Really looking forward on unboxing this model and I'm so excited to have my first Middle Eastern Airline added to my collection. And what are we waiting for? Let's do it! Now that was an easy opening right there. Just gotta make sure that the side flaps are completely open. And now for the grand unveiling. Wow, take a look at that beauty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so good. Of course, I had to do some inspection, so nothing is loose or broken on this model. And usually what I would do in these types of boxes is I would push the model from the bottom so it would be much easier to take out once I grab it on the tail. It took a while for me to take it out of the styrofoam, but it felt very easy for me. And now let's see if that model has come intact. And how about that perfection everybody? Man, take a look at this model right here. I really love the colors in this model. It really pops. I think Edgy Balls did a fantastic job with this aircraft and I'm so happy to have it into my collection. As always, we begin with the front with the cockpit windows and you got the nose shape of the aircraft which is much more accurate in shape. You also got the detailing of the pitot tubes and the stack ports along with the antennas and the Wi-Fi dome. Then you got the nose gear and nose gear door with parts of the registration printed on it. Then you got the flag of the United Arab Emirates, the L1 and L2 boarding doors, and the Etihad titles which are both in English and Arabic. And then you got their symbol and the slogan which is from Abu Dhabi to the world. Moving on to the middle, you got the General Electric GENX engines, which looks very nice, and the wing detail is also nice in this model and well detailed, and I think Angie Models did a fantastic job on it. And moving on to the back, you got the L3 and L4 doors, the big Dreamliner titles, the back antennas, and the aircraft registration, which once again, it is Alpha 6 Bravo Mike Hotel. Then you got the APU and the horizontal stabilizers, and the Etihad Greenliner tail, which looks very vibrant in color. Once again, NG nailed the coloring on this model, and it just pops out perfectly. Moving on to the starboard side, pretty much the same, but you have both the front cargo door and the back cargo door. Something different I found on this side, however, is that their slogan is written in Arabic. Really unique for Etihad to put their slogan in English on one side and their language on the other. 
Here's the top of the aircraft, looking absolutely nice with the antennas and Wi-Fi dome. Then you got the front of the aircraft, also looking very nice as well. And here's the bottom of the aircraft, which includes a stand hole if you want to display this model. There is also a bottom antenna on this model, which looks very nice and realistic. You also have the Etihad logo on the belly, and the registration on the port wing of the aircraft since this is not a US registered aircraft. What a way to end this unboxing with this beautiful model right here. I think Edgy Models did a fantastic job making this in one point on the scale. The detail is on point, the engines and antennas are proportional, and the colors pop out like crazy. Great job NG Models on your detailed work, and great job Midwest for the amazing shipping and quality checks. I tell you what, they are amazing. And here are all my four models in today's unboxing. What an amazing lineup right here. A lot of colorful liveries and excellent quality control. Really happy to have both of these models into my collection. I think my favorite out of all of them is that Etihad Greenliner. I think Edgy did a fantastic job on this model in 1400 scale, and it is a great model to have in my international fleet. The Delta 767 is also nice, including the Hawaiian 717 and the Air France 777. I think both of these models look amazing and they are all perfect for my 1400 collection. Now before we end this video, I do want to apologize if this video took nearly a year to get into my YouTube. Mainly it's because I was busy with college finals as of that recording and I didn't have much time working on this video due to more and more content that I was trying to do for the past months. And I also apologize if these reviews took quicker than what I thought. That's because this was taken during the early stage of my model plane collecting. So it was not as accurate as compared to what you're seeing commonly. But you can pretty much see these models in future airport updates and I'm so fortunate enough to knock this video out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And if you want to see more of my model plane content then you can click on the card that's going to appear on your screen. And you can check out all my model plane content I posted in this channel. And don't forget to check out my model plane unboxing videos as well. So you can click on that card as well. And you can check out that playlist right there. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.